Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Tip of the Week. So we've been going over some of the new features in Harmony 11, and this week I want to do a tip on how we are now swapping drawings. So you may have been using Harmony in the past, or you may have been using Anime Pro in the past, and we had a very specific uh, behavior when copying and pasting and swapping drawings. And um, we called this behavior exposure. So actually, maybe I'll show it to you in the old version just so that you can understand a little bit uh, what we did before to make it slightly easier to see what we do now. So I'll just take a very simple project here and I'll draw drawing one, I'll go to frame 10, I'll draw drawing two. First of all, that's the first change that we've done. We no longer auto fill in between drawings because for people who are doing paperless animation, that was a little bit annoying for them. So what we do now instead is we do basically the same thing that was done previously when you did create empty drawing. It just creates the drawing on the frame that you're on and you can draw and then later on you can select the frames and, and hold. But when it comes to swapping drawings, um, so you see I've got one, I've got two, and I've got three. And then I've got four over here. Let's say that I want to swap from two to four. I can swap it in my um, in my drawing substitution window in my library here, and it works just fine. It holds drawing four up until frame 20. But what happens if I instead try to do it with a shortcut, which is, they use this all the time in, in uh, cutout animation. So instead if I do a shortcut to do it, I can use the shortcut, and whoops, you see as soon as I swap to three, because I already had drawing three on frame 20, you see how it fills all of this with frame three? So if I do the same thing, I have drawing one, Let's do this a little bit from further away. Drawing one, I go on frame 10, I have drawing two, I go on frame 20, I have drawing three. First of all, the reason that we did this, I mentioned already, was uh, that, that um, there was the question of the uh, paperless drawing, but also you just, what you, we wanted to have more of a what you see is what you get kind of a thing, right? So um, if I wanted this to now have the holes filled, if I have my timeline view toolbar showing, I can just select all of those drawings there and we have this new um, function here called fill empty cells and so if I do fill empty cells then it basically extends the spo exposure of each one of those drawings inside and it works really fast and really easy. So if I then take drawing two and uh, you see I already have drawing three here. If I take drawing two and I swap it to drawing three notice what happens I have drawing three and then I have another line, and it's drawing three again. It's a little bit easier to see when you see it in the X sheet as well, so let's just go ahead and grab this drawing layer in the X sheet. So you see here, I have drawing one, and you see the line that holds it down, and I have drawing three, and the line that holds it down, and then there's another drawing three specified here. So this is what we're calling a key drawing. So just like you can have a key frame, which specifies a, a point where the, the position is fixed, then a key drawing is a position where a drawing is fixed. So by default, a drawing is a key drawing when you draw on an empty cell. So obviously it's creating a new drawing, so that's going to create a key drawing. And then you can go some many frames later and you can extend the exposure just like you would before. So I can come in here and extend the exposure. And when you extend the exposure, it just holds the drawing for that length of time. Now, if at some point I want to come in here and I want to split it, I can actually add what we call a key exposure. So if I add a key exposure, it creates a new key drawing there. So now I have five and then I have another five that shows up there. So um, it just makes it easier for when you're doing swaps. This is great for cutout animation to be able to specify some frames where the drawings are fixed. If I now go back and try to do the same thing, if I swap uh, to drawing four or to drawing three, it always will keep that key drawing up until the next key drawing. If I go on a frame halfway in between and I swap my drawing, then it will create a key drawing in that space. And if I go back again to the same drawing, it has created a key drawing. And you can see that very clearly as a line in your timeline. And you can see it in the X sheet as well. 
Now, when it comes to marking drawings as well, this may be something that you might want to do if you're ever doing some frame by frame. You might want to mark which drawings are your key drawings, which drawings are your breakdowns and your in-betweens. And um, so when you come in here, we do have the drawing marker uh, timeline, the mark drawing um, toolbar in your timeline, your uh, view there. And when you uh, enable mark drawing, you can select a drawing, you can mark it as a key, as a breakdown, as an in-between. And now in Harmony 11, you actually see a little dot in the drawing in your timeline workspace as well. So this makes it easier for you to see it. So if I take the, the same concept and I come in to check out these characters here, um, the, the reason that this comes in particularly useful is when you're doing stuff like lip sync. So I may just select the mouth layer and I might even just um, change the view property in my timeline here to show the selected uh, only mode and then I'll just see the mouth layer to make it a little bit easier for me so I don't have to see my whole character. And in my library, now I can come in here and if I do go to a specific, specific frame and I swap the drawing out, then you do see that swap happen and I, the same thing applies as well so if I have drawing one I can swap away and back to drawing one again but there's a key drawing there now so if I do swap to something else I can swap back again and it never will join together two areas unless you go over a specific frame and remove the key drawing or the key exposure and then it will then just sort of remove those lines and keep whatever drawing you had before. So hopefully that makes it clear about how we work with swapping drawings in Harmony 11. It's uh, actually much easier for doing both paperless animation and cutout animation and hopefully you guys really uh, enjoy the new behavior. See you next time.